Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Hamburger had mentioned uh, a couple times already, uh, create the rail modernization program in uh, the Chicago region, uh, which uh, we talked about the gateway has been brought up also, but uh, I think it's very important that people understand the how important create is for freight traffic for the entire country, uh, in addition to uh, uh, Amtrak and, and commuter rail. Uh, so I was, uh, we, we've moved along well, although more slowly than we would like in getting create uh, projects done. Um, I can't pass up the opportunity again to talk about grade separations. Those are lagging far behind, and those are very important. I would like to see more uh, funding, federal funding and uh, railroad funding on grade separations. But right now, we are the big project that uh, we're looking at is 75th Street. And I was very happy to hear you say earlier, Mr. Hamburger, um, when I had stepped out, unfortunately, that uh, the railroads are in for the uh, uh, application for an infra grant. Uh, is this going to be similar to the application? Do you believe it would be similar to what was uh, put in uh, at the end of last year? Uh, ye yes, sir. Each of the partners has uh, reaffirmed their commitment uh, exactly in the same uh, proportion as last year. That, that is great to hear. I think this uh, fits very well in exactly what the administration is talking about uh, when it comes to infrastructure in general. Uh, the uh, private uh, capital going in, also the, the state, uh, Cook County, City of Chicago, I think Metra and Amtrak also on board. So uh, it's exactly the type of, uh, of project that, that should be funded if uh, the administration follows through on uh, what they've said they'd like to see. So very happy that the railroads are on board on this. Yes, sir. And it actually re refers back to the question Mr. Duncan asked uh, about the uh, involvement of the private sector. One of the main uh, metrics that the DOT has announced in analyzing the infra grants is what is uh, the private sector involvement. So I think that that indicates, uh, at least at the department, uh, that they are committed to the public-private partnership approach. Very good. The other question I want to ask uh, Ms. Dara, I want I want to talk about the RIF loan program, which uh, unfortunately has been undersubscribed, uh, and part of that is a result of the confusing loan repayment policies, the issue of the uh, credit risk premium uh, that the RIF loan recipients are required to, to pay. Uh, you know, DOT uh, has not repaid nearly uh, 76 million dollars in uh, CRPs that they've collected to date. Uh, I want to know what would uh, the impact be if those CRPs were paid back in terms of infrastructure that would be able to be financed with that. I, I think, I thank you for your question, and I think that that would be an excellent outcome is if we could get DOT to pay back the credit risk premium. And going forward, I think that also needs to be considered. The RIF program really stands out to our industry as a massive wasted opportunity at this point. Um, maybe two or three loans have been processed for a year per year, and only a few of those have gone to the short lines. There's a number of reasons for that. One of them is the credit risk premium. But additionally, it's just truly too complex and costly for our small businesses. There's a high cost to the transaction for financial advisors and legal advisors that runs in the neighborhood of up to $500,000. Um, you know, we believe the solution is to fund the credit risk premium, uh, to help cover application costs, and to do whatever you can to speed up the process because we can't wait the year or more that it takes for those loans to be improved to get started on some of these projects. Again, that's why 45G is more of an immediate solution for us. I think this, again, fits in what the administration has been, been talking about, and I'm hopeful that uh, they, they take a look at the RIF program and uh, the credit risk premium and uh, that uh, we can get the uh, RIF program really working because I think it, uh, it, it can be highly valuable. Uh, and it is very important for uh, short-line railroads. So that's, I will yield back. 